Nigeria is estimated to have 42.47 billion metric tons of bitumen reserves. However, according to the trade report released by the Nigerian Bureau of Statistics, Nigeria's bitumen imports stood at a whopping 62 point two five million dollars in the fourth quarter of 2022 with the commencement of, of operation now with the commencement of operation of the 650,000 barrels per day capacity dangote refinery we're going to be seeing how that works out victoria momo analyst financial derivatives company joins me to unpack that good afternoon victoria it's good to have you on the program mm -hmm. Now, Victoria, what impact should the operations of Dangote Refinery have on bitumen production? Um, good afternoon. Thank you for having me. So I would start by saying that it is true that Nigeria has vast reserves of um, bitumen here in the country, but we've not been able to fully explore those resources, okay. particularly for economic uses. And um, that has um, created the need for importation. Just like you rightly said, um, the whooping $62 million um, dollars in Q4 2022. Um, and um, this is a dent to the country's foreign exchange. Um, but now that we have um, the commencement of Dangote refinery, um, it's expected that we we'll see more bitumen production. And this is because all refinery refining actually comes with um, increased bitumen production because bitumen production is a byproduct of um, um, crude oil. Um, it's at the bottom layer of the fractional distillation um, process of um, crude oil. So. Um, Oil refining, like I said, would actually come with increased um, bitumen production. So the um, uh, commencement of Dangote refinery would actually um, increase bitumen production here in the country. And uh, we could see more um, investors, you know, going or you know, taking advantage of that opportunity, exploring the opportunity of um, increased uh, petrochemicals in general. And um, this would um, ease the pressure on um, the country's um, currency, which is Nera, because um, you know um, the need to import would actually uh, reduce. Then uh, bitumen is actually a very, very um, important. Um, um, a very important material used in um, paving roads. So we could see a reduction in cost of um, um, road construction here in Nigeria due to uh, the increased bitumen, um, bitumen production here in the country. And then again, we could see increased um, revenue generation here in Nigeria due to the fact that um, um, the um, bitumen production will not just be used to satisfy domestic um, needs, but also exports to generate revenue. And this is um, good for the uh, federal government government actually at a time where um, we are looking for um, revenue. Um, countries like um, Saudi Arabia has actually been able to um, take advantage of their petrochemicals and uh, make um, a whooping $20 billion in um, some years. So, I mean, it's a good investment. But that doesn't um, cancel out the fact that we still have that resources and more needs to be done to exploit it in order to meet uh, the demand, the domestic demand for, for bitumen here in Nigeria. Considering the fact that we have um, um, huge road infrastructure deficit, which has created the need for bitumen. No, no we do have this deficit. We do have this infrastructure gap. And you mentioned earlier about the importance of bitumen for the uh, as an important material for road construction. But we're seeing now that it's being substituted by construction companies and contractors for concrete interlocking blocks. Concrete roads are now uh, infinitely more expensive than bitumen surface roads. But what impact will this have on the demand for bitumen? Well, I would like to start by saying that um, the increased attractiveness to concrete um, paved roads is actually due to the fact that um, uh, concrete is more durable compared to bitumen paved road. Uh, it lasts longer and it doesn't need um, frequent um, maintenance. So that doesn't increase um, the cost involved in um, maintaining the road. So as a result of that, um, people or um, con constructors are actually um, you know, tilting towards um, concrete paved um, road. Uh, in addition to that, we have cement readily available here in Nigeria, and um, as opposed to bitumen, which we need to import to meet our demand. And then you know that um, bitumen um, prices is actually subject to volatility, just like um, crude oil prices. And then there is a um, scarce foreign exchange to get those bit to get to import bitumen into the country. So those are actually constraints. And then there is also the aspect of um, 
um, environmental consciousness because uh, the process involved in um, um, melting bit and bitumen on uh, the road or paving the road with bitumen actually um, releases some sort of um, polluting agents to the environment and that is not um, very good for uh, the green environment that we are um, all looking at um, achieving. So this of course would affect the demand for, for bitumen but this doesn't even change the fact that um, bitumen as um, a form of uh, material used for reposition is relatively cheaper compared to concrete. So using your crystal ball, Victoria, what is the outlook for bitumen prices? You talked about importance and other factors. What do you think the prices will look like in the short to medium term? Well, of course, um, I would like you to know that um, bitumen prices actually moves in tandem with crude oil prices, right? And that is because, like I said earlier, bitumen is a byproduct of crude oil. So whatever factors that influence crude oil prices would also affect uh, the price of bitumen. Uh, but uh, it may interest you to note that um, China is actually uh, the major consumer of bitumen. And then, as we're all aware, there is economic recovery in the country. And this, of course, is going to drive the demand for bitumen for construction purposes, and this would um, increase the price of, um, of bitumen. In addition to that, we are um, slowly um, getting closer to the summer period and the hot days, which is characterized by increased road constructions and the like. So we could see more demand for bitumen. And of course, when there is increased demand for um, a commodity, it drives the prices up. So we could see increase in price of bitumen. Thanks so much, uh, Victoria Momo, for those insights. Victoria Momo's analyst with financial derivatives company. Thanks for making your time to come on the program.